Good morning, friends. Uh, today, uh, posting from a Quiet Morning in Refugee Alliance Head Office in Krishnasan. This is Ina Solpons uh, reminding you to strengthen yourself because you are here for a reason. Every morning when you wake up, you might not remember it, but you are a temple of God and His presence is in you uh, and it's for a reason. It's to help, it's to love, it's to restore people and it's to spread the good fragrance of Him, a good sweet smelling aroma of Him everywhere where you are. Um, and I just want to uh, remind you, we have a different culture. We belong to a kingdom that's different. Our nation uh, as uh, followers of Jesus is different. He is an upside down king. He doesn't choose those who are wise, rich, prosperous. He chooses those who are poor, those who are weak, those who are sick, those whom others despise. Those are the one he finds. He always goes um, to find those who are forgotten. So if you feel forgotten, if you feel uncelebrated, if people don't really understand who you are, uh, you're a special candidate uh, to be a successful person in his kingdom because it's an upside down kingdom. And he says that we can boast of our weakness because in our weakness, he, his strength is made perfect. Um, he, when he went uh, around in this world, God, Jesus, uh, he looked for the poor, the blind beggar, the dirty beggar at the street side. He said, uh, what, what can I do for you? And then he did miracles for him. A possessed person in the graveyard, he made miracles for him. Um, a tired uh, lady who had used all her money for doctors to try to become whole and no one could help her, he did miracles for her. Um, he lifts up those whom others do not uh, respect. That's why I call him my upside down king. And we who follow him, we are also upside down people. We, um, we love those who hate us. We pray for those who persecute us. And it's so much power in this radical love and the extreme kindness in serving people uh, with his love. There is so much power in it. To many, I think love and kindness sounds like weak words, but it isn't. It is powerful because it's a protest uh, and it's heaven's power on earth. So I'm challenging you, encouraging you, follow the upside down king. I love the broken, love those who are cast out of society, uh, invite them for dinner, then you will see his power. Um, and remember that he loves you. He loves you. He celebrates you. He will lift you up. Seek his, finger, he, seek his kingdom first and you will have all the other things. Seek him first, the king. Give him the first time in the morning. Give him the first love in your heart, the first money. Everything first, give it to him and then you will see that he takes you into his kingdom in miracles and you will live an adventurous life with blessing and persecution and hard times but with much of his presence and there is nothing like it. So uh, let us pray. I thank you my king that you are so different. I thank you for your love. I thank you that you came from heaven and streets of gold to die on the cross for us to be born in a stable and live among us. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you actually live in us, even if you know us, you know our story. Thank you for changing our lives. Thank you for lifting us up. Thank you for taking away all our shame and giving us double honor instead of shame. Lord, thank you. I thank you for your mercy, for your goodness, for your kindness, for your love that changes everything. Thank you for raising us up. And I pray that everyone who listens, you know their situation, please come into their situation. 
wherever they are, those who are praying, come into their hearts, come into their situations, Lord, and turn things around for them. Lift their heads, open their eyes so that they can see themselves with your eyes. Show them who they really are. And show them who you really are. Beautiful King, upside down King, show them yourself. I pray this to the glory of your name and to the help of many people. In Jesus' name, Amen. So, dears, uh, this place will be busy tomorrow because we have our service and our joint dinner. At 3 o'clock Sundays we have dinner together at a long, long table. Asylum seekers, refugees, Norwegians, uh, anyone. If you are in the Kristiansand area, please come. And then at 4 o'clock is the international service, English-speaking service. Uh, yeah, God can change everything. Don't fear. And I will see you tomorrow. We are together.